I wish I could have got some footage of how I used to walk. I can do a little compare and contrast, but I think everybody remembers my old walk. <laughs> oh. All right. Now, before I take this off, don't get me wrong ideas when you see me in these panties, okay? <laughs> These are some sort of medical stockings or something. Mm. Uh, I have to wear them, wear, well, one, because it helps my circulation. <clears throat> bit sore, bit sore. I can't take the, these off, but I can roll this down. Uh, it's always good to take this off when I get some air. taped up it, the tape came loose and I had to put more well it might be not a good idea then because the tape might not stick again Fine. well I just yeah but I got they opened up um, an old scar the very first one for my first surgery and made it a bit longer it's actually it, where does it end? yeah right about here I can feel the staples under the thing like a railroad tracks now originally they were going to put a rod burrow it into my hip, take it all the way down, and it would keep my leg even. That was the plan. Unfortunately, I've been walking with that crooked leg, my knee was facing that way for so many years, that literally this bone was doing this. See how my fingers are bending? It was, this, this bone was doing this, basically. So because of that, they had to install a rod inside and surgically implant it in there just to keep the bone straight. The only price is oh, I can never bend this leg again. Mm. That's the only price. But that's a small price. Because, I mean, let's face it, as opposed to me flailing my arms, hopping around like a freaking idiot, because this part of my knee was way out to here. Mm. Yeah, I think this is better. <laughs> I'm thrilled, man. I cannot wait to get back to school. 